Good morning guys, Mango Day is back. Welcome to my channel. Uh, kung bago ka lang sa channel na to, uh, panoorin niyo yung vlog ko. Uh, watch, subscribe, uh, click the bell, and like, comment. Uh, Pag-uusapan natin ngayon kung paano i-power up yung aeroplano. Paano, uh, bago i-power up yung aeroplano, kailangan mo muna i-start yung EPU. May limang things lang paano i-start yung EPU. Unang gagawin nyo, start nyo yung number one battery. One battery. On. Two seconds. Number two. Two battery. On. After that one, it test nyo yung APU. Test APU. APU test ko. Okay. After APU test, pindutin nyo yung APU master switch. APU master switch on Wait for 40 seconds guys 30 to 40 seconds Para mag open, open yung Flaps nya Air intake flap Motor Pag nag open yun after 40 seconds Pwede nyo na yung pindutin yung APU Start Yun lang yung procedure nya Para ma power up mo yung aircraft uh, Pasensya na kayo dito nag Pinapawisan ako Sobrang init Ngayon, 40 seconds done. Start APU. Pag na-start din yung APU, guys, uh, take time, uh, maybe 10 seconds bago mag-stabilize yung computer, all computer, bago kayo gumalaw sa mga computer, bago nyo galawin mga computer kasi mag-stabilize muna siya. Pag narinig nyo na yung click, click, click na sounds, pwede na nyo na gawin anong gusto nyo gawin na functional test. Kasi stable na yung computer. Ang init dito. Parang nasa pugon ako ngayon. Yung APU pala guys, uh, dalawa ang function ng APU. Uh, produce electrical. Uh, 110 volts para mag... Pwede mo gamitin sa oven ng kagali, outlet ng vacuum, charging point ng cellphone. Also in the cockpit, mayroon din silang outlet, fountain bolts. Ang pangalawang kuha ng function ng APO, bleed, air conditioning. Yung air conditioning, uh, para malamig yung kuha natin, cockpit at saka ga, gali, cabin. Yung pangalawang pangalawa, to start the engine yun yung function ng bleed ngayon nakapower up na yung aeroplano natin uh, I will start my job uh, perform daily check pagkatapos ng daily check uh, punta kami sa ibang aeroplano naman yun na naman yung check namin ngayon guys ito yung computer niya ngayon power up na siya yan nakikita mo yan, yan ibig sabihin yan hindi pa stable yung ano nya computer hindi pa stable yan kasi narinig nyo yung click yun stable na yung kuryente mo computer mo, everything is stable pwede ka na gumalaw ngayon ngayon, ang gagawin ko magpiprint ako ngayon ng PFR okay, hanggang dito na lang yung vlog ko, gagawin ko muna yung trabaho ko good morning and have a nice day don't forget watch, subscribe like and share, comment down below okay, bye during the exterior inspection Check that the APU compartment access door is closed and verify the condition of the APU air intake. You also have to check that the APU exhaust is clear and verify that the APU fire extinguisher overpressure red disc is in place. For more details on this red disc, refer to the fire chapter. 
You are in the preliminary cockpit preparation phase. In this example, external power is connected. Let's start the APU. First, select the APU master switch to switch it on. Observe that the on light illuminates. The ECAM APU page is automatically displayed and the green flap open indication appears when the APU air inlet flap is fully open. APU can now be started using the start push button switch. Note, you do not have to wait for the flap open indication prior to pressing the start push button switch. However, the APU will not start until the flap is fully open. Select the APU start push button switch to switch it on to initiate the automatic start sequence. The on light illuminates blue in the start push button switch to indicate that the automatic start sequence has begun. Click on the forward arrow and observe the APU N speed and EGT parameters. At approximately 95% N speed, the on light on the start push button switch extinguishes and the avail light illuminates green, meaning that the APU parameters are normal and the APU is available to supply electrical power and bleed air. At the same time, the avail indication appears in green on the ECAM APU page and the APU avail memo is displayed on the engine warning display. About 10 seconds later, the ECAM APU page is replaced by the ECAM door page. For training purposes, we have recalled the ECAM APU page and displayed the air conditioning panel for you. For the APU to provide bleed air, select the APU bleed push button switch to switch it on and observe the corresponding indications on the ECAM. The blue on light appears in the APU bleed push button switch. The APU bleed valve opens with bleed air pressure available. And the green APU bleed memo replaces the APU avail memo on the engine warning display. The engines are now running. Because the APU is no longer required, you are going to switch it off. Good morning guys, Mangoda is back, welcome to my channel, don't forget to watch, subscribe, click the bell, write and uh, comment below, dito yung kasama ko si Mr. Omar, engineer, Good morning, uh, guys. I -papa -power shut, ay siya shut down namin yung APU ngayon kasi tapos na yung trabaho, Omar will be do the shutdown procedure for the APU, okay Mr. Omar, do the procedure how to shut down the APU first. Before we shut down, we will check the depth and also the lights. All the lights is closed. Air conditions closed. If you bleed, closed. Electrical power. We will check any disabilities. And also, we check the fuel pumps are closed. And also, we check the hydraulics. Hydraulic pumps are all closed. Then we shut down the power of this button. You can see that this. Master, master switch of push button will be pushed to shut down the APU. Okay, Omar, do the then we will shut down. Push up the button. 
powder off. Okay. Uh, sometimes we have normal one light remaining because of, uh, battery hot bus this one FO. Uh, ngayon, uh, we will wait for 30 seconds to 40 seconds to close the air intake flap motor para secure yung APU natin, walang pwedeng pumasok ng mga ibon, mga foreign object. 40 seconds, after that 40 seconds, we shut down the, uh, we off the battery 2 and 1. Two, ulitin ko, 2 after 1. Okay, 40, 40 seconds down, almost done the 40 seconds. Okay, shut, uh, push, push the battery 2, Mr. Omar. Okay, number one. Okay, now it's dark because totally closed. Shut down the APO. Good night and have a nice morning in Philippines. We are in Saudi Arabia blogging, Miss Mangudo blog. Don't forget to watch, like, and subscribe. Press the bell, comment down below. Say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Okay, Mangudo, bye. Because the APU is no longer required, you are going to switch it off. First, switch off the APU bleed. Observe that the APU bleed memo has disappeared on the engine warning display and is replaced by the APU avail memo. And the APU bleed valve closes with the corresponding ECAM indications when the valve is fully closed. Then select the APU master switch to switch it off. The shutdown is initiated. Notice that the blue on light in the master switch push button extinguishes. However, as the APU bleed has been used, the avail indications remain on while the APU runs for a cooling period of 60 to 120 seconds. Note, if the APU bleed has not been used, the APU shuts down immediately without any cooldown period. During the cooldown period, you can stop the shutdown process by pressing the master switch push button back to on, provided a veil is displayed. When the cooldown period is complete, the APU shuts down and a veil disappears. Click on the arrow to continue the shutdown sequence.
electrical power from the APU can be used all the way to the maximum ceiling of the aircraft, 39,000 feet.